All right, let's build a gear tray. A few weeks ago, I came across a video by Potato Jet where he talks about the gear tree from Ulanzi, which is basically a full YouTube studio on one single stand. I was immediately hooked because I am filming out of a fairly small room that also doubles as a guest bedroom, so I can't have all my equipment set up at all times. The setting up is something that I really don't like about the process of making videos because, you know, you have several light stands, lights, the camera, mics, and once I'm done, I have to pull it all back down. So I was keen to have something that's always ready to go. The Gear Tree Potato Jet used was on a thick stand, which wouldn't really work in this room. So I needed something on wheels that I can tuck away into a corner when I'm not filming. And Ulanzi actually has a gear tree on wheels. However, when I looked into it, they didn't ship it internationally or at least not to Australia where I live. Because I couldn't order the gear tree on wheels, I started researching and I found videos by Peter McKinnon, DSLR video shooter and Ben Johnson building their own YouTube studio on one stand. And I thought, I probably can figure this out for myself as well, even though I'm not really a DIY guy. I find C-stands and grips and all that stuff quite intimidating. But after a day of researching and figuring it all out, I had a list of things ready that I wanted to order, which has now arrived. Now, I didn't use the exact same equipment as these other creators, so I actually don't know whether the stuff I ordered will work, but I guess we will find out shortly. Let's unbox. Look at this mess. Unboxing realness right here for you. Okay, what do we have here? We've got a heavy duty light stand. We've got the wheels, three of those. And then everything I have here in front of me, which is two small rig clamps, one with a little ball head for holding phones. We have two small rig magic arms in different sizes. We've got a quick release plate and a camera screw and spigot kit, two grip heads and a boom arm. I actually don't know if I will be using these um, because I might just put the light onto the stand itself, which I saw some people do. So I still got it in case I needed it for something else, such as an overhead rig. And the last thing is the Elgato solid arm, where I'm gonna attach the microphone to. Now let's try and put it all together and see whether it works. If you're enjoying the video so far, then you do me a massive favor if you give this video a like, because it would really help the channel out. The build itself was relatively quick and easy. First I prepared the stand by attaching the wheels. I was actually quite surprised by the quality of the newer stand given it's relatively cheap compared to other heavy duty stands and the wheels are really smooth. I then tried to figure out the right height for the stand, which I ended up adjusting several times after attaching my light. After that, I started screwing all the grips and arms to the stand. First, the Elgato solid arm, which unfortunately only opens wide enough to fit on the thinnest pole on the top of the stand, which means it's a bit more limited, but not a huge deal. I then screwed the short magic arm to one of the small rig clamps, which will be the one holding the camera. To mount the camera, I've used my SwitchPod ball head, which gives me a bit more flexibility. I screwed the quick release plate to the ball head and attached both to the magic arm. Next, I set up the microphone, which required one of the screws from the screw kit.
I used the second small rig grip with the longer magic arm, attached the screw so that it fits the size of my Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Then I mounted the camera and moved everything around a bit more until it all fit and that is all I needed to do to get to the final setup. This is it. I'm now filming from the gear tree or from my YouTube studio on just one stand. And this is what it looks like. I've got another angle over there so you can see what it looks like with the stand. And then I can just wheel it around, you know, if I wanna film into the corner and the sound and the light will be very consistent, pretty similar and you know, and I can just wheel it wherever I want it. Excuse the mess, but that's it. Amazing. So stoked about it. Super easy. I'm actually surprised that it did work with all the stuff that I bought. Um, this is me now standing, but if I want to sit down, I probably have to put the clams somewhere else on the stand, but I need to figure that out. But yeah, exciting. It works. It actually worked. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think about my version of the gear tree. And if you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. I put links to all the stuff that I talked about and that I'm using for my gear tree in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, then check out the one over here because I think you might like that as well. Give the video a like and subscribe if you want to stick around and I will see you in the next one. Take care.